and it will be Garrett Goldman for Indiana and Yusef Hamida for Maryland. So another very good matchup, as we have mentioned. Hamida, the freshman, and Goldman, the redshirt senior. Goldman favored just a little bit in this one, but it, it will be a good matchup. Dawson Peck coming in 13 and six, and Goldman coming in 11 and 10. So this one could go either way as well. Going to be a close one. And we'll see what uh, Garrett Goldman can bring, obviously in his final season as a redshirt senior. And uh, it's gotta be fun for him wrestling uh, as a Bloomington townie. See what, uh, see what it's like to finish out those years uh, here in Bloomington. So uh, a failed single leg for Goldman. They will move back into the neutral position and they'll go into a tie up. And Garrett Goldman coming off a very impressive victory over Jan Johnson of Penn State. A pin in five minutes and 35 seconds. An excellent performance from the redshirt senior. So back into neutral they go. Heads forehead to forehead at the moment. Trying to do anything they can to get any kind of momentum going. And Hamida definitely trying to build off the uh, build off the momentum that he gained in his last match against Michigan State, getting his first dual victory uh, for in his young career. And Hamida, as we mentioned, the freshman from Mamaronek, New York, wrestled for Mamaronek High School. And Goldman, as you said, the townie from Bloomington, Indiana, wrestled at Bloomington North High School. So still no points here as we reach the halfway point in the first period. Indiana leading three to zero here at home. Goldman and Hamida going to be a big matchup moving forward. Points are going to be few and far between, I think, throughout the entire afternoon, or evening, excuse me, but it's it's going to be important for Indiana and Maryland to get the minor decisions and the major decisions because I'm not, I'm not feeling that there are going to be a ton of pins. I think maybe we'll see a couple pins in Jeffrey Alexander at 133, maybe Elijah Oliver at 125 for Indiana. But across the board, this is going to be a very close matchup, I think. I definitely agree with you there, Aaron. And a lot of tight matchups here. And uh, like you said, few and far between between the, with the pins. And uh, we'll see what, if that uh, first match is any indication going into overtime. It looks like we're, uh, we're in for a tight one the whole way through. So extra wrestling action in the first matchup. Uh, always love the free action here on BTN+. And I think we can see more of that later on and Goldman will have a front front trip so he'll be awarded two points for the takedown Hamida working his way back up into his base and standing up and he will get the escape so a quick turn of events for Goldman and Hamida exchanging points two to one and Goldman is in the lead heading into the second period and he will choose down so an opportunity to extend his lead with either an escape or a reversal. And there we got a little quick uh, scoring action there at the end of this first period. Uh, see what, uh, as you noted, whether uh, Goldman can build onto that lead right here out of the gate. So Goldman early on in the season did wrestle unattached at the EMU Open. Looking to extend his attached record here. So Goldman will be awarded the point for the escape. So it'll be three to one for Goldman. And the riding time is only sitting at one second in Goldman's favor. Didn't get much from that first period, but that is generally the case. Goldman trying to work his way around. Hamida trying to get an arm in, trying to regain a little bit of control. Goldman says, no, let's just reset. So Ben, heading into this matchup, we didn't exactly know who was going to be wrestling for either Maryland or Indiana in some cases, but this matchup in particular for Maryland, Yusuf Hamida did take the start over Dawson Peck. 
Yeah, and that's an interesting move for uh, Maryland, seeing as Dawson Pack, the redshirt sophomore, coming in at 13-6. and six. You would think it uh, gives them a little more experience, but uh, I guess the Maryland coaching staff liked what they saw from uh, Hamida this week in practice, and uh, uh, they gave him the go-ahead against a tough opponent, Garrett Goldman. Hamida did start in their previous matchup for Maryland, uh, but overall has not started as many times as you would expect. Of course, coming in as a freshman, doesn't it doesn't really state a whole lot about what he's doing as a freshman, but as a true freshman, he's getting a decent amount of starting time. 16 matches so far this year, of course, some of those unattached. So the second period will come to a close, and Goldman still leads Hamida three to one. So heading into this third period, Hamida will take the referee's position down. What do you think we can expect from either Hamida or Goldman? Well, it's going to be a tight one like the last one. It looks like this one might come down to the wire again. Uh, look for Hamida to see if he can get a quick escape here, uh, get a point off the bat, and uh, see where we can go from there and going into the final period. So Goldman re-breaking down, not quite off Hamida's knees yet, but he is working his way, trying to get a leg in. So Goldman's goal in this period obviously is going to be to get some near fall points, either a two point near fall or a four point near fall. Uh, and that's a new condition this year. Four point near fall can be awarded after four seconds of back time, as opposed to a five second three point near fall from the previous seasons. But Hamida will be ordered, uh, given the escape point, so two to three Goldman We'll see whether Goldman can hold on here in the uh, last minute or so of the third and uh, pull out another win for IU in the match. Goldman is leading in riding time with 30 seconds, so he does have the advantage there. At the end of the third period, That will be a, the person with a more riding time will be ordered an extra point, so that will come in handy heading into the last minute of the final period. So a shot by Hamida, couldn't quite get the leg. A good sprawl by Goldman, can't quite get around. So they'll go back to neutral, back to forehead to forehead, keeping their positions with the, the hands on the necks, putting as much pressure as they can, trying to wear down their opponents. And Dawson Peck, who we noticed before, is on the sidelines yelling for his teammates, seeing if he can uh, scrap out a couple points here at the end and take the, take the lead from Maryland. Definitely going to be coming down to the wire, as we've mentioned, just under 20 seconds left to go. Hamida looking for a shot, has the hand on the back of the knee, still can't get it. And here we go, coming down to 10 seconds. Let's see what Hamida's got in the last few seconds of this bout. Goldman moving quickly, another sprawl, good movement going around, and he will hold off Hamida. Another victory for Indiana. Indiana now leading six to zero and we will head back up to the 125 pound weight class where we see the star freshman for Indiana, Elijah Oliver coming in, facing off against the redshirt freshman for Maryland, Michael Beck. 